Liquidity, Slippage, and Swaps In this video you will learn Liquidity Price Slippage and Swaps Market liquidity refers to a market's ability to buy or sell an asset quickly and without significantly changing its price. Liquidity is a crucial element of any financial system. Liquid markets are characterized by high volume, and assets can be traded without significantly influencing the price. Illiquid markets are characterized by low volume, and assets cannot be traded without influencing the price. The Forex market is the most liquid market in the world. The U.S. stock market average daily turnover is $220 billion while the Forex market average daily turnover is $5.3 trillion. Liquidity fluctuates as markets across the globe open and close, with a period from 1300 to 1600 GMT being the most liquid, where London and New York will be both active. Liquidity is different for each pair currency pair, but Euro US dollar, US dollar Japanese yen, and British pound US dollar remain the most traded pairs and witness the most volume. While a liquid market is known for its steady movements and fixed prices, illiquidity can lead to high volatility and price slippages. Slippage is the difference between the price you expect to pay and the actual price at which the trade is executed. Slippage is more likely to occur when liquidity is low, for example, during news events, due to a lack of either buyers or sellers. Slippage can sometimes go against you or in your favor. If you place a trade to buy the Euro US dollar at 1.1950, and the trade is actually executed at 1.1960, the slippage is 10 pips against you. If you place a trade to sell the Euro US dollar at 1.1900, and the trade is actually executed at 1.1905, the slippage is 5 pips in your favor. When you trade Forex or CFDs with leverage, you are either borrowing or lending an asset. For this reason, interest is paid on the borrowed asset and earned on the purchased asset. This is called swaps. As a result, the trader must pay interest on the asset that he will borrow and will earn interest on the asset that he will buy. A rollover fee, or swap, is charged when the trader keeps an open position overnight. The rollover or swap rate is the interest rate differential between the two currencies of the pair that is traded. If the interest rate on the lent asset is higher than the interest rate on the borrowed asset, the trader will receive swaps. When you buy US dollar against Japanese yen, in essence, you borrowed yen to buy dollars. If we assume that the interest rates in Japan are 0.25%, and 2.5% in the USA, the trader will earn 2.5% per year on his 200,000 US dollars and will pay 0.25% per year on the Japanese yens. To calculate the swaps, we simply multiply the traded amount by the difference in the interest rates. For the above long position of $200,000, the trader will earn $12.32 every day. If the rate on the lent asset is lower than the interest rate on the borrowed asset, the account will bear a rollover debit. When you sell US dollar against Japanese yen, in essence, you borrowed dollars to buy yen. Now, if we consider a short position of 200,000 US dollars against Japanese yen, the trader will pay $12.32 every day. Although the market is closed on Saturdays and Sundays, banks still calculate interest on positions held over the weekend. Therefore, positions held after Wednesday 2200 GMT will be charged for the swaps for three days. In our next video, we will talk about fundamental analysis. Thank you for watching.